Welcome to Edubedia World Videos, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Zuraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. To print a worksheet with the exact number of pages that you want, you can adjust the page breaks in the worksheet before you print it. Page breaks command breaks worksheet into separate pages to print worksheet. Excel automatically inserts a page break which depends on page orientation, page size, margin settings, and fit to scaling. Sometimes the program wants to split data onto different pages that you know should always appear on the same page and the workbook content is printed in an extra paper. If you want to increase data that can be shown and printed in a page or if you want to divide data between pages so you should learn how to adjust page breaks. Excel automatically add page breaks but you can manually add page breaks at the positions that you want. By default, page breaks are not shown in the normal view. To see page breaks, click the View tab and click Page Break Preview. Or you can also click the Page Break Preview button on the status bar. It is the third one directly beside the Zoom Level button. There are two line shapes you can see in the Page Break Preview. The first line, which is blue dashed line. That is specify an automatic page break that Excel automatically created by default depending on the page size and margins. To increase data that is shown in one page, you should move the page break to include all data. Position the mouse pointer on the page break indicator on the blue line. When the pointer changes to a double-headed arrow, drag the dashed line vertically or horizontally outward and release the mouse button. Now let's see the result by clicking the print preview button. Yes, I have now prevented Excel from splitting data vertically between pages. And to decrease the number of rows that is shown in page 1, I will drag up the dotted line to be directly before row number 50. Now let's see. Now page number 1 holds only 49 rows instead of 75 and page number 2 starts from row number 50. You can also insert your own manual page break to divide data between pages. Select the row or column before which you want to insert page break. Then, from the breaks button on the page layout tab, click insert page break. A blue solid line appears and that is specify a manual page break is inserted. Repeat the process many times where you want to add more page breaks. To preview the result, click the Print Preview button and you can see the selected row or column 
will represent the first row or column on the new page. And to manually remove page breaks, right click the row directly below the page break. Choose Remove Page Break. You can also repeat the process to remove more and more page breaks that we just had inserted. Finally, if you want to remove all page breaks, you can click Reset All Page Breaks. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. See you at the next video.